Stop making it about the money, KSI. I'm about to fuck you up, <laughs> you fucking Scooby-Doo ass motherfucker. <laughs> Jake Paul has fucking lost the plot. Like, <laughs> he needs help. It's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. And in today's video, guys, I am bringing you back a part two of Jake Paul from Child Entertainer to Adult Entertainer. I saw a lot of you guys absolutely loved it. So I thought, let's bring back a part two. And yeah, it's safe to say Jake Paul needs help. He, he, he needs help. He has lost the fucking plot. I'm telling you that now. He's lost the plot. If you do like today's video, be sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button down below. It will be much appreciated as ever. And without any further ado, let's dive right in to, you know, tear apart Jake Paul's shitty content. So the first video we are going to watch is my $50 million offer to Conor McGregor. Uh, let's give it a watch. What the fuck is up, you Irish cunt? Ah, what a lovely guy, eh? Fucking opening the video by calling a professional UFC fighter. Irish cunt. Yeah, that's that's going to end well for you, innit? Because let me tell you something, Jake. I'm pretty sure if you go face to face with Conor McGregor, yes, just say walking down the fucking street or something, and you see Conor McGregor, you are going to shit yourself, yeah? You are going to shit yourself. It's all good and that chatting shit over the internet. But when it comes to real life, yeah, you will just absolutely shit yourself. Good morning, Conor McGregor. I know you're probably beating up old dudes in a bar right now, or maybe you're jacking off because you're sick of fucking your wife. I mean, she's a four, Conor. You could do a lot better. Behind and he's gone after Conor McGregor's wife. A way to get into his head is to go after his fucking wife. Well, um, let me tell you something, Jake, yeah? His, his wife ain't a fucking gold digger like most of your fucking girlfriends. You have a new girlfriend every fucking week. They're only with you for your money. Conor McGregor's wife was there from the very, very start from his UFC career. Happy Monday. My team sent you a $50 million offer this morning. $50 million cash, proof of funds. The biggest fight offer you've ever been offered, but you're scared to fight me, Conor. Conor McGregor ain't scared to fight you. He's been in a lot more, you know, scary situations inside the octagon. So you, a YouTuber, I think it's going to be a walk in the park for him. You're 0-1 as a boxer. I'm 2-0 and as a boxer. Is this guy really flexing that? Yes, you're 2-0 and as a boxer, Jake, yeah? But let's not forget who your opponents were. Oh, yeah, your opponent was Annie Song Gibb, a YouTuber. Oh, yeah, and... Your second fucking win was a basketball player, Nate Robinson, not an actual fucking fighter. So how can you flex that to a professional who has been in multiple fucking professional fights? Is there an actual reason why Jake Paul wants to fight Conor McGregor? Now, if any of you guys know, please do leave it in the comments. It's just crazy to see his fucking change from being a child entertainer where he was putting whale noises over his swearing to now being an adult entertainer where he's waving deadly weapons around in the air, smoking cigars on camera. So now we've got another message to Conor McGregor from Jake Paul. So, uh, yeah, this should be fun. <laughs> UFC 257, Conor McGregor just got knocked the fuck out. Worst stream of all time, Dana White. Worst stream ever. We want refunds. Conor McGregor got paid five million dollars to fight a bum and he got knocked out by the bum. See, Jake Paul has actually lost the plot. He's getting proper big and fucking gobby to all of these professional fighters. The guy's delusional. I mean, he's, he probably still thinks every day, bro, he's a fucking banger. It's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. Five mil on YouTube in six months. Never done before. Pest all the competition, man. PewDiePie is next. Man, I'm popping all these checks. Got the brand new Rolex. No one likes every day, bro. It is shit. Bro, the memes right now all over Twitter is trending. This is hilarious. You got Nate Robinson. Connor, dude, you got paid $5 million to fight a bum. You should have taken the Jake Paul fight for $50 million, but now I got 10000 for you. You're a YouTube boxer, okay? Yeah, you may have a fucking professional license to fight. You're going to go after someone who's been fucking fighting 
for years in UFC. I know you want a boxing match with him, but he still knows how to fight. So, yeah. And just because he lost to one guy, it don't mean he's a, he's a terrible fighter. I got $10,000 in cash. Cold, hard cash. Blue hundreds all cash. <laughs> Is he okay? Because... That, that weren't normal behavior from a human being. Good morning, I uh, hope you're up. <laughs> uh, April 17th, guys, I'm fighting. Uh, you know, it was supposed to be Conor McGregor, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Who are you fighting then, Jay? Come on, I want, I want to know who are you fighting. We know that you like to, you know, fight people that are basketball players, YouTubers. So, is your next opponent going to be the likes of Mr. Tumble? He's done a video to Floyd Mayweather, so now he's going after Floyd. Let's, uh, let's have a look at this. Dear Mr. Mayweather, who runs your Instagram? <laughs> they need to get paid better. Do us a favor and stay off of social media. You should focus on learning to read, retirement, or maybe an encyclopedia. You call me out to fight, but you're half my height. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually kind of funny to me, fair. You called me out to fight, but you're half my height. So I'm a bit confused. Is Jake Paul going to be fighting Floyd Mayweather then? If Floyd Mayweather's called you out, why not just take the fight? If Conor McGregor ain't fighting you, just fight Floyd. Just fight Floyd and get fucked up by Floyd. Simple. You might beat my brother, but Jake Paul is a different type. Fuck your proposition. I don't do exhibitions. We can fight on my conditions. 50-50 commissions. Oh. And we haven't forgotten you tried training Nate to beat me. I left him unconscious on the canvas. Let's hope you're not that easy. Just because you knocked out a basketball player who was trained by Floyd Mayweather, it don't make you suddenly so good. Floyd's a boxer, yeah? Nate's a basketball player. So I think if you step in the ring with Floyd Mayweather, you'd get knocked down quicker than you knock Gib down, mate. I'm telling you that. A quick NBA knockout. He's never boxing again. Speaking of NBA, who knocked up your daughter, my friend? After I KO Askren on Triller, April 17th, I would love to fight you, Floyd, and punch you in those fake veneer-ass teeth. It's, it's just a twat. I genuinely do not like Jake Paul. He's just, he's, he's a cocky fucker now. I'm gonna end the video here. Um, because, yeah, I've had enough of Jake Paul, really, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> if you did like today's video, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well. It will be much appreciated, as ever. And, yeah, I'll see you next Wednesday. I'll see you guys then. Peace.